One extremely powerful feature of Divi is that you can easily export and import your layouts to use them between different websites. And this can be applied both to your page layouts, but also to your Divi theme builder templates like the global header and footer, category pages, etc. Let's head to divimundo.com to download the layouts. And all the links are available in the description below this video. So I'll click Divi in English. And in the menu, I will hover resources and I will click download Divi layouts. And I scroll down and there we have the Divi crib complete website. So I'll click download layout. Okay. I'll just click free download. And to access this free download, you just have to subscribe to the Divimundo newsletter and you can un unsubscribe at any time. And I promise there will be no spam or sharing your email address. So you are safe. So I'll type in my email address and press download. Okay, so there are two files to download. It's the page layout. So I click that one. And we have the theme builder layouts. So there are two zip files. And uh, I have actually created an empty sandbox website just with a clean Divi installation on it. So you have to have the Divi theme in order to import these layouts. Uh, and I'll go to the WordPress dashboard. And we can start with the Divi theme builder layouts. So let's head to Divi and theme builder. So this is where we can import our global header and footer, category pages, 404 error, etc, etc. So for now, the Divi theme builder is empty. And uh, to the top right, we have this portability icon. It's an arrow down and an arrow up. So if I click this one, I can export my theme builder layout, which is none at the moment. And I can change to the import tab. And this is the one that we are using. So you have a few options here. You can choose to override the default website template, but we don't have anyone now, so it doesn't really matter. We can also allow import to override existing assignments, but we don't have any assignments in the Divi theme builder, so that doesn't matter either. Uh, we can choose to import presets, and that's the presets for fonts and colors and design that were made in the theme builder before. So I would recommend you to, to actually uh, click this option to import presets, but uh, bear in mind that this could mean that if you already have some global presets made, they could be uh, overridden by this setting. You can also download a backup of your existing uh, theme builder layouts before uh, uploading if you want to go back again. But we'll uh, sell for this. So we can't just upload the zip file. We have to extract it. So I'll just click. And uh, we have the finder here and you can see that was one JSON file in the uh, zip file. So I will simply drag this one and drop it in the file field. And now I will import the Divi theme builder templates. And uh, all the images used um, before will also be imported in the media library. So this was pretty quick. We have five theme builder layouts. We have uh, the header and footer. We have the category pages, the post design, search results, and the 404 page. So just click save changes. And we'll just have a quick preview by clicking visit site. And uh, this is how it looks now. We have the global header and the footer and everything else. But now we have the pages and these are just empty pages by now that I just added before. So we have to fix them. And you also have to go to your uh, menu settings to create your menu objects. So I can just show you briefly how to do that before we import the page design. So if I go back here to my sandbox website, I go to appearance and I choose menus and here you have to create your main menu. I can choose that it's my primary menu. I create it and then I choose which pages that should be in the menu. So we did this before in the course but you have to redo this when you import a layout because this is not done in Divi, this is in WordPress general settings. And I save the menu 
and uh, if we refresh the page the menu looks better so that's how you can fix that okay so let's import the home page the news page the contact us page etc so we go back to our wordpress dashboard and we go to pages and we can for example import the contact us page so i'll go there and these are pages that i created earlier so they are just empty so i will extract the all pages.zip and uh, it contains a folder with four different page layouts so i must click edit with the div builder first to activate the div builder and i will not take the tour let's start building instead and i will choose build from scratch okay so there are two different ways to do this i could open the bottom menu the purple circle and i could click the portability icon down here and then we can do the same thing as we did in the theme builder we click import but we could do it even quicker by opening the finder and i can just take this file and actually drop it on the page and I want to replace the existing content. I don't need to download a backup since this is an empty page. And I want to import the presets. So let's import to the Divi Builder. And this will also import all the images and media files to your media library. And there we go, we have the Contact Us page. And now you can just change the text and the images and colors and everything the way you like it. So I click save. And I'll exit the Visual Builder to preview the page. And there we go. We have our global header, which is sticky. We have the contact us page and with all the content. And you can just keep on doing this with the different pages. That's all for importing layouts in Divi. And just to show you briefly how you export your designs and use them on other websites, we can go to the Divi theme builder and you use the same portability mode. So you just click this icon and you choose export. And then you can name the file, my builder design. And I want to uh, export all templates, or I can choose which templates to export. But this time I want to export all templates in one file. And it just takes a few seconds. And now they are downloaded and it even removed my spaces in the file name. So that's good. Okay. And uh, now you can just import this to any DV theme builder you want. And we do the same thing for a page. Maybe we can go to the contact page that we just created. So we import, imported it and now let's export it again. So I will enable the visual builder. And I will open the menu here in the bottom and I will click the portability icon. And I will choose export and we can name it contact us. That's fine. Export DV builder layout. And there we go. We have the JSON file. So that's really simple to both import and export layouts in Divi.